Birdie, the baby baboon, was in a bit of a bother. He couldn't find his brand new hopper. A hopper, you say? What is that? It's a jumping stick as fat as a rat. Birdie would bounce here, there, and everywhere until the grass and plants were flat. With a grumpy face, he set off down the path, mumbling away like a baby giraffe. Walking is no fun. I want my hopper, and my feet feel a little hotter. He plodded on with a big fat pout until he suddenly bumped into Melder Mouse. Hello, Bodie. Why are you so glum? I'm hot and I'm bothered and I'm on the run. I can't find my hop and I'm just about done. Don't be a silly Billy Bodie. I'll help you look. It must be somewhere, perhaps down by the brook. They took the path to the brook past the big tall tree. Across the rocks they clambered in order to see. They looked left and right, but to no avail. The hopper was nowhere to be found in this terrain. How about the mountain rocks where you love to play, jump and hop? Off the two scrambled, up past the brook over the tree stump to go have a look. The rocks were big and slippery, but they pushed on until they reached Bodie's favorite spot in victory. The two looked up, down, left and right, but there was no hopper in sight. What now, said Bodie? What do we do? Melda sat thinking, waiting for a clue. Then an idea hit her like a flash from above. Bodie, what about the Mongoose Cafe? They have a lost and found. All down the mountain and past the brook, down the path to have a look. They saw the cafe up in the distance. It looked jam-packed, lamented Bodie with a bit of resistance. Good morning, Mervyn Mongoose. How are you? Meld and Bodie welcome you too. Thank you, Mervyn. We hope you can help. Bodie has lost his hopper and doesn't know what to do. We have searched far and wide with no success. You are our last chance, we must confess. At just that moment, who should stand up? Mr. Chakma Baboon, Bodhi's papa. Papa Baboon, what are you doing here? And what is that shiny blue hopper you're holding in your hand? Bodhi, my son, let this be a lesson. Last night I found your hopper lying in the garden on the grass, which left a bad impression. Your hopper costs a lot of money. It needs to be taken care of. This is not funny. Oh, Papa Baboon, I got such a fright. I'll never neglect my hopper and leave it out at night. I've learned my lesson for sure. And from now on, I will take care of my toys like a very good boy.